Hey guys, this is Matt with bleepinjeep.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this the ultimate pegboard cabinet. And today we are building a giant pegboard and bin cabinet. This thing is going to take up uh, the entire rest of this wall over here in the shop. So uh, we're going to be doing that. We're not professional carpenters so it uh, might take us a little bit longer than usual but I think it'll be awesome once we get it done. But first check out my website, bleepinjeep.com. We've got all the best off-road videos on YouTube. We've got uh, apparel, Jeep apparel, all kinds of discount coupon codes for anything you could want. So check it out, bleepinjeep.com, and also check out the Facebook page and do subscribe. All right, so the first thing that we did was we went and bought all the lumber. Uh, well, before that I bought all the bins. I've got over 100 something bins. Uh, we're gonna have a giant cabinet here that's gonna open just like my smaller cabinet that I showed you in the last video. Um, it's going to have a hundred bins in it uh, or more and then it's going to have pegboard cabinets uh, that open up on the inside. So the first thing that we did was we laid out our 4 by 8 sheets here and we just started tacking the uh, 2x4s to the bottom there to make some sort of a frame and I narrowed it or I shortened it just a little bit because the ceiling is 8 foot high so we we can't have it eight foot tall. It needs to be a little bit shorter. So I shortened it four inches. Uh, it's still eight feet wide. And then I cut everything. And let's show you this. We'll flip it up real quick. All right, so basically we just have a giant eight by eight sandbox here. Where we go from here, I'm not sure, but uh, follow along, we'll get it done. Alright, so what we did now is went and made like a boxing ring almost. And uh, we're going now and bracing those up, putting some 2x4s in between just like that, except a little bit longer. And like I said, we're not carpenters, but uh, this is the best way we could figure out to make this work right. Um, there's going to be bins and shelving on the interior, so we want everything on the interior to be clean. We've got some bracing on the top and some feet on the bottom, so you shouldn't be able to see that uh, bracing. And hopefully the, the outsides will look smooth whenever we put uh, the MDF on the exterior. Alright, so I've got most of these screwed in. On these, on the sides here, we're going to put uh, MDF board on the outside. And my plan is just to tack these into place. Uh, that way when we put the MDF board, we can screw it in. Because um, I'd rather not do a huge toenail nail into each one of these and probably split them all. So let's give it a shot. That should hold it in place for now. All right, so we've got our boxing arena finished here. And the next step is to start putting on the uh, sheathing on the outside, the MDF board, to make it look pretty. We got all the sides on. We got the uh, the bottom and the top on as well. It's starting to look like a giant uh, shipping crate or uh, something like that. Elephant coffin. I don't know. We added some extra feet on here because by the time we get done, this thing's going to be really heavy. So uh, we just wanted to make sure that the uh, bottom had enough legs. And now we are about ready to try and put some shelves and uh, bins in here, and then we'll put the doors on. Alright, so here is the plan. Let's see if you can see that. 
The plan is to have a shelf going right through the middle to hold paint cans and things like that. And then I think there was eight or nine vertical uh, rows or columns with these bins in each one. We'll have about, um, what did I say, 14 or so bins going vertically like this. And then, uh, I think that's upside down actually. All of these will be full of bins, 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 and then paint cans and more bins vertically like this. And then, of course, the doors are going to go out on the outside, um, which will close and have pegboard on the inside and the outside. And it's going to be 14 inches wide, uh, and the bins are only about um, 8 inches, so that way we'll have some um, space on the inside to put the pegboard stuff. Alright, so we've got all of our bins on the bottom section. I cut out these little uh, uh, pieces of plywood. Um, they are about six inches wide, and then the height of that. And the idea of that is to uh, just tack these top and bottom, and that'll keep the bins from moving left and right. And then I think what we'll do is pull the bins down and put a screw in the top one. That'll keep them from falling out. Alright, so what I decided to do was to push all of the bins over to one side, that way it keeps the gaps down to a minimum. And I'm going to do that, push everything over, screw this down, and then uh, that will take care of all the imperfections, align everything, and then I can go ahead and tack these uh, center sections in place. Alright guys, it's looking really good here. I just wanted to catch up for a minute. What we did is laid the pegboard down where it belongs. Then we cut 2 by 4s to do the interior frame of the pegboard. Then we laid the top pegboard on top of that. And we screwed everything down. Uh, I kind of did a, a crisscross pattern, just like Jeeps. Uh, everything works based off of triangulation, so I tried to do a lot of triangles in the screws just to make it a little bit stiffer. And um, then we flipped everything over and screwed the back side on. So now we have a giant uh, pegboard door here. And 
Now that thing's heavy. The next thing we're going to do is put the hinges on. I've got four hinges per door and hopefully that'll be sufficient. And after that we're going to try and lift it. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Oh, before we do that we've got uh, some trim as well that we might put on. I bought uh, one by threes for trim. And then eventually I'll like, I'd like to put a uh, some kind of cool door handle on there, maybe Jeep related or off-road related, something like that. So uh, let's get back to it. That's how I held everything up to attach the doors while it's laying down. It's a little two by fours, two of them. And then held the door vertically and screwed all the uh, hinges on. Oh, that's See. pretty. See how far back it goes? Screw it open all the way. Pesky like. All right, just to show you guys, so we don't kill anybody at the top here, I made sure to fasten that safely to the sill. Uh, and then I've got it attached to the cabinet. It's very solid now. And I also put some clips up here to hold the doors in place. Alright guys, so that is how you make the ultimate pegboard and bend cabinet. I think it turned out really good. Let me show it to you. Still need to put some uh, cool door handles on here. Turned out to be uh, 8 foot wide, a little less than 8 foot tall. four by eight doors and I've got uh, I think 120 some odd bins in here and I'll be able to put uh, pegs on the inside that are about four inches long hang stuff on the inside and the outside and my paint cans will all go right here or whatever I want and I've got bins out the wazoo hopefully I don't run out of space I also uh, buttoned up the bottom here so nothing could roll underneath Alright guys, don't forget to check out the website bleepinjeep.com. We've got all the best off-road videos on YouTube, none of the boring stuff. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and check out the Facebook page as well. 
If you do build one of these cabinets, uh, put a picture over on my Facebook page, on the Bleep and Jeep Facebook page. I'd love to see it. We'll see you next time.